Exactly. Now let's move on to our final story. The EFCC has frozen Benue state government accounts. According to re uh, reports, the plot to frustrate the governor of Samuel Otom of Benue state after his daring move to defect from the APC to the PDP took a dramatic turn yesterday following indication that the state's government's bank accounts have been frozen by the EFCC. It was gathered that the government accounts were frozen by the anti-graft agency on the premise that the governor and his security vote was being investigated. And the report says that we will receive more details on that soon. So this is a governor that's defected from the APC to the PDP, and now all the state's accounts are frozen. This is what I like to do. Now, if the information is true, if the information is true, I like to look at issues in context. For many people, or for some people, the argument is the reason why the EFCC is going after Samuel also the governor of Benue, if the information is true, is because he defected from the APC to the PDP. But as Nigerians, I think this is what we should aim for. And this is just looking beyond this issue because, in all honesty, it's all politics. And I'm going to explain. You have a political party campaigning that, ah, don't vote for this party because the governor is owing salaries. But you have governors in your party too that are owing salaries. We are waiting for your own campaign to see what you will use to campaign when it comes to campaign. Now, what Nigerians must do is aim for that perfect picture. And what is the perfect picture? People must be held accountable. I do not, for the life of me, understand the concept of the security vote. Security vote that is unaccounted for. Now, they are saying they are frozen. The security vote is under investigation. Do you know that our governors receive funds from the federal government in the name of security vote so that they can, you know, put certain things in place to ensure that there is stability and security in their states? How much is it? We do not know. And this is, yeah. it has opened us to a lot of conjectures. I am not going to just reel out figures here, but certain people have said that some receive as low as 300 million and some receive as high as 3 billion naira. Let us begin to ask ourselves, look at the country, mm. look at human capital development, and wonder if whatever one naira public officials receive impacts in the lives of Nigerians. What Nigerians must aim at or look for now is to go beyond the politicking. I don't have any business with PDP and APC. As far as I'm concerned, they are a twiddle-dum and twiddle -dee. But my business is Nigeria, because at the end of the day, if this one switches party, you know, change your style, snake in the monkey shadow to this political party, I cannot switch allegiance because even though it's a difficult process, I don't. I prefer being a Nigerian. Actually, and, yeah. Yeah, very much so. And what Nigerians also need to understand, what we really need to understand is that good governance accounts for 80% of one's welfare. So if we do not get governance rights, we are really not going to get it right. You have nine days left to get your permanent voters card or to register rather for your permanent voters card please go ahead and do it. It's important and imperative that we all play a role in trying to do better for our country, Nigeria. Now, on that note, there are some people doing a lot better for our country, Nigeria. I'm going to introduce her in a second. First of all, thank you, Chukudi, thank you so much. Us, Chukudi. This is very insightful information for us all. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.